Whitney Houston, you're on a Magic 102.3 and 92.7. We're the real sound of the DMV. It's 420 now. We have a very special guest joining us. The mama of black Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Lewis is in the studio. Hey, Daddy. hey how you doing, mama? <laughs> Mama, 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 mama drama. <laughs> mama drama. Man, you look amazing. I feel good. Yeah. I feel great. I wrote a book. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. It took me years to be able to say those words. I'm proud of myself. But mm. I'm proud of myself. This book yeah. was hard. It was the hardest thing I ever did. Really? Yeah. Why? But, it just... I, well, it was hard because, you know, I had to go back. And, and relive all the death. Mm -hmm. You know, I came through the AIDS epidemic, mm -hmm. you know, and um, it was hard times. So I really wanted to stress to these uh, millennials and the younger generations that it's not over. The fight is not over yeah. for AIDS and everything else. Mm -hmm. You got to take up the banner, yeah. you know, where, where, where they left off in the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. You got to take up where they left off. In the cotton fields, mm -hmm. on the Middle Passage. Mm -hmm. Come on, All we right. got something to do. Oh, there's no doubt about it. That's right. We're reminded of that every day, aren't we? Mm, oh yeah, Here big time. Yeah, got a sociopath in the White House. <laughs> come on now, I want him to tweet me. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, little man. Yeah, yeah, I got something for you. Yeah, tweet me. Why don't yeah. you? Mama ain't scared of you. No, I ain't scared of <laughs> no. it. Mm -mm. God bless him. You know, yeah. I have. Uh, I am bipolar, mm -hmm. so I know when there's, um, you know. Of that mania that he has, you yeah. know, and that and the depression, bless his heart. Um, this it, it's a mental illness, mm -hmm. you know, um, something you have to address. And I wish he would. I wish he would. Donald Trump would address his um, personality disorder. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something wrong there. Yeah. Oh, there's no question. You can't no disrespect question. everybody I, I know. everywhere. Right. <laughs> Remember him hitting that man and pushing himself forward. That's a good thing to oh, teach the kids. Right, right. Bullying yeah. right in front of us. Oh, yeah. You know, so we've got work to do. Yeah. We have to resist the forces that would, you know, take the air that we breathe from our great grandchildren. Yeah. Come on now. We have yeah. an environmental issue. Yeah. How many floods, hurricanes, tsunamis? What else has to happen for us to wake up? Yeah. Uh, have you been to the museum yet? African American. Oh my God, I yeah. have not. Oh really? But don't okay. you worry, baby. Oh, I know you're going. Oh, I'm going. Yeah, I'm sure I may not make it this trip. Yeah. And, you know, I came in uh, for a Christmas party mm -hmm. uh, at the Obama White House, which was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Michelle was so gracious, and the president had such dignity and grace. And I, as I landed, you know, and 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 the. Um, the museum had not opened, oh, and I couldn't yeah. get in there. But boy, I'm going to the oh, African American man. Museum. Yeah. I just passed it, uh, uh, standing there next to the the, the uh, monument. Yeah, oh right. my God, I'm so excited! Oh, it's it's quite an experience waiting oh, for you. God, I'm telling wait. you, it is I can't amazing. Wait. Oh my God, you get a lot of emotion. Yeah. So so tell me, you said it was so hard writing the book because you had to go back. I mean, yeah. Well, how, you know, I I I had bipolar disorder and I didn't know that I had it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have a lot of mania that keeps you way up high. That's where the polar comes from. you way up high and then at night and, and, and you're depressed. Mm. You go up and down and up and down. And let me tell you something, Donnie, I just got tired. Mm -hmm. I got tired and I, I finally came to that dark night of the soul and I said, that's enough. I called my therapist. I said, I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready to really admit and come to terms with this disease. Mm -hmm. I'm sick and I want I want on my face what I put on everybody else's face. Mm -hmm. That big smile and laughter. Mm -hmm. I wanted to laugh inside of my own soul. Mm -hmm. So I went on through the fire. And that's what I'm trying to say in The Mother of Black Hollywood, my new memoir. I went through the fire and I'm still here and I'm grateful. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait to read it. Oh, no, it's, really it's quite the read. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be this good. It's selling like hotcakes. Oh, really? Because and it's been out for three or four days now. Yeah, right? and the audio is is like, oh, my God. You know, for some reason now, people people just love my voice. Oh, well. They just want to hear me say good morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll say good morning at 45 million views. I'm like, what's wrong with them people? But you know what? Uh, they grew mm. up. 
uh, and that's why the book is called The Mother Black Hollywood. Uh, they saw me on Fresh Prince yeah. and A Different World and and all, you know, What's Love Got to Do With It, The Preacher's Wife. And uh, I'm so appreciative to have had an illustrious career. Yeah. But it was because I loved what I do. Yeah. You know, I sang my first solo in church when I was five years old. Really? It was a song called, Oh Lord, You Brought Me a Mighty Long Way. Uh-huh. Now, you know I was full of it. <laughs> but <laughs> I wanted to perform. And from the reaction of the congregation, I never looked back. Really? I knew I was a born entertainer. Yeah? Yeah. And I read you were on Broadway. Oh, like, yeah. Right? Like Absolutely. a week after you graduated I'm from telling, college? Yes. I came to New York. The name of that chapter in my book is called Shoulders Back, Titties First. <laughs> That's right. I went through the door. Y'all got Jennifer Lewis in here now. Come on, read the book. <laughs> Nothing was going to stop me. From being what I wanted to be. (laughs) You know, and the bipolar, I have to say it worked for me and against me. Mm. For me in in a sense that I had no fear. Mm. So I didn't know, you know, that I I, I was um, walking around with a chemical imbalance in my brain. Mm -hmm. You know, later on when I was diagnosed, I still didn't want to believe it. I was like, come on, y'all, I'm Jennifer Lewis. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Mm Oh, yes, it was. Mm. You know, so I'm reaching out to people. Come on out of those dark rooms with all that depression, eating yourself to death, drinking yourself to death. Mm. You know, somebody, you know, I was molested by the pastor of my church when I was a teenager. Mm. And I told, I told, I tell it now, even today. I want these kids to know if you've been inappropriately touched, if somebody's abusing you in any form or fashion, you tell somebody. Mm-hmm. Don't you hold that in. Yeah. You, you told know. it then? Yes, I did. Oh, really? Yes, I did. But, you know, back then there was no Oprah Winfrey and yeah, all yeah. these talk shows that tell you to, to how to sit down and talk about it. Yeah. And my mother didn't know how to talk through that. So it was pretty much just kept quiet. That, that's kind of the way it was handled back yeah, then. Yeah, that's just the hush, way it was. Hush. Yeah, hush, hush. Right. Well, that's no longer healthy. Yeah. And we're not standing for it yeah. anymore. That's what the Women's March was all about. Yeah, yeah. You know, after the president, president said, grab her by the pussy. Come on now. Women ain't going to put up with that. No, no, definitely We're not, not going to put up with that anymore. You definitely. ain't grabbing us by nothing, Mr. Right. Donald. Yeah. 45. <laughs> So what do you think of um, what's going on in Hollywood now? Oh, with honey, Harvey all I can and... tell you is that I applaud the men and women, mm-hmm. but more the women and men that are stepping forward and saying that's enough. Right. I want to honor them right now. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm glad my book is coming out right now because I am addressing some of the same issues. A young man came into my apartment in 1983, I believe it was, and put a knife to my throat. Mm. But that morning I was bo- I was running a hot tub for, for take a bath and uh, I was uh, you know you only put like two drops of peppermint oil in your tub just for aromatherapy. But that morning my dog hit my arm, so a lot of peppermint oil went into the tub. So the fumes in that small little studio apartment, it was really potent. And when he had the knife to my throat, he was blinking. Hmm. You know, he was taken off guard. He didn't know what that was. So he was overwhelmed by it. Wow. And I was able to talk myself out of it. I told him that was medicine Hmm. and that I was sick. So if he, you know, you can't do this. Hmm. I'm sick. And then, you know, believe it or not, The story is in the book, you know, he started crying. Hmm. He said, I shouldn't be doing this. Wow. So, um, you know, I fainted and I woke up and called my friends. They made me go to the precinct and tell. Hmm. And you know that detective, he was so nice. We got to be compassionate toward each other. Thank God that man was compassionate. He told me, he said, Miss Lewis, you're going to suffer some emotional stress from this, even though you were not raped. Mm Mm-hmm. He said, but you keep this in the forefront of your mind. One out of three million women are capable of talking themselves out of rape after the door is closed. Wow. So I kept that with me. Mm -hmm. It was the greatest performance of my life. Mm. I'm telling you, I did a lot of acting that morning. I was in shock. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't expect things like that to happen to you. So I'm saying to everybody out there, pay attention. Yeah. These stories in my book are real and they are true. A con artist slithered his evil way into my life. I didn't expect that, but I had to work through it. 
Mm-hmm. I had to come out from under the covers, come out from that depression, and you keep moving. Life is beautiful and it's wonderful, and you have the right to pursue happiness. Nelson Mandela said, what right do we have to live small? Mm. You be great. Yeah. You, you are worthy. You know, you're somebody. So make a difference in this, in this world. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you've had such a long, and you say, illustrious career mm-hmm. in Hollywood. Yeah. So many women don't. Why has it been different for you? Women are cut short in Hollywood. Well, here's the thing. What I did, when that phone didn't ring, I created my own magic. I wrote one woman shows, one woman shows, and uh, expressed myself, laid my life on the slab. That's why the book, The Mother of Black Hollywood, is so honest and raw. Mm -hmm. Because I always told, you know, you think people leave me alone because I'm going to (laughs) tell. Don't think, don't come for me because I'm going to tell the world about it. You know, so ain't no shame in my game. People said, Jennifer, you're giving up a lot. Yes, I am. Because I owe. Mm. I owe because I got so much. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done, what, 350, you know, counting blackish, 350 episodic television shows. Wow. 68 movies, four Broadway shows, and I've toured in concert all over the world. I got some stories in this book. Oh, I doubt. wanted to tell wow. these kids, yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. I'm in, and that's, a, that's, a, that's the home of Obama when, you know, those yeah. eight wonderful years we had. Yeah. He said, yes, you can. Yes. You know, so I'm saying that today. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can get up and you can keep going and you can have what you want in this world. Now, it sounds, yeah, it's easier said than done, but I worked hard and I stayed focused. Mm -hmm. And was it easy? I don't think so. No, it doesn't sound like it. You know, that's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. But that ain't nothing but feelings. Feelings ain't never killed nobody. (laughs) Come on, you got to get up and keep going. Yeah. Wow. Man. What a joy it is to have you in the Thank studio. Thank you. I'm telling you, I just love you. My wife is here. She comes with me every Hello, Friday, beautiful. by the way. Oh, yeah. back at you. <laughs> yeah. I wish you guys could see her. She's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. She is. She's, I'm feeling good. And out. <laughs> the East Coast has been really good to me. New York came out. I was on The View and Dr. Yeah. Oz. You know, I talked a lot about the bipolar disorder on Dr. Oz. Mm-hmm. I had gone on Oprah Winfrey uh uh, how, well, I forget what year it was, but I spoke about bipolar disorder, and she was so wonderful. She made me feel so safe yeah. to be yeah. honest, you know. Yeah. And um, that's what she well, does. Yeah, we went to Philly, and oh my God, the people came out. Yeah, that line was around the block. I didn't know y'all loved me that much. <laughs> I didn't know I was a big old movie star. <laughs> I'm so that appreciative of it. You that know, you are man. holding we- my book. There it was. I was like. <gasps> I went in a bookstore and saw it sitting there on the stand. Wow. Oh, my God. A rush of gratitude mm. just went through me. Mm. You know, I did something. That's my legacy. Yeah. You know, I, I told the story as I tasted it and smelled it, touched it, mm. saw it. You know, this is my story. This is my song. And I want everybody to find their song and sing the hell out of it. Sing your song. Yeah. Don't let nothing hold you down. Oof. <laughs> All right, mama. <laughs> <laughs> People say I be preaching. Look, you I do. Can, look, I walk the walk. Yeah, That's all. I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> she is the mother of Black Hollywood, and that is the title of the book. Give it up for Jennifer Lewis, hey. our guest today. And can I just commend you for being as wonderful you as you are all these years? Oh, well, thank I've you. I've been looking and listening to you, and just thank you, Donnie. That's from all of us. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Well, how sweet. Thank Absolutely. you very much, Jennifer. I appreciate yeah. that. God bless you. Mm-hmm. And thanks for sharing your story with the people. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people are going to find some um, relief in that. I hope so. You know, there's no doubt about it. Okay. Again, Jennifer Lewis here on Magic 102.3 and 92.7.